here. So, um, I'm working late today. I have tried to make a video, um, like um, a makeup application video. Um, it ended up being three videos, and they were terrible, and the camera kept like jerking, and I wasn't looking at the camera enough because I had to look in the mirror. And I haven't looked back at them, but I'm pretty sure they're going to need some either editing or something. And I might end up deleting them because they take up a lot of room on my computer because I don't have a lot of room on my computer. Um, so <coughs> I'm pretty much ready for work. I've just got to put my top on and um, and then I can go. But I've got loads of time left. Um, because I'm doing sales plans, so I'm not starting till one. <coughs> so I won't have to leave till half twelve minutes, half eleven hours. So I've got an hour, so I thought, I know I'll make a video. But I'm just sitting back in bed. Um, don't really have a lot to tell you, but I wanted to talk about um, some of the things I think about. Um, and one of the main things is that I'm a cyclist. Um, so, I mean, I cycle to work every day. And I, um, let me sit up a bit. And I also um, cycle pretty much everywhere that I go. Um, and I just feel so hard done by sometimes because um, pedestrians don't see you as traffic. And they don't seem to look before they walk out in the street and... Um, you're not allowed on the pavement because you're not a pedestrian but like on the road the cars give you no um, respect either and they just they go past you and like cut you off and like or when you have to brake and you nearly get run over and it's the front of your life or they go so close to your leg that you think that your legs gonna come off or I don't know I just they just don't see you as traffic so as a bicycle you're stuck in the middle and I just wanted to have a quick rant about that and I wish that as a pedestrian you would see us as traffic and you would look before you step out on the road um, either that or I don't know <laughs> I ran out of things and so what else did I want to talk about? Because it's only two minutes. I've got lots to talk about. Um, what about... Um, underlying religious hatred. Not hatred. Un intolerance. Uh, or whatever. Because, I mean, I have a religion. And I have a faith. Um, and that's I see that as quite a personal thing so I'm certainly not going to do a lot of talking about religion or um, God or anything um, but I do find that people who don't believe in God um, seem to think that it's okay for them to tell us we're not allowed to do our religion or this isn't coming out right basically you know how people complain about racism and I think I say oh what do you mean there isn't any nowadays because I know that you know people used to be separated and there was real ignorance to this sort of thing and nowadays we're all sort of integrated and no one hardly ever makes a comment about things but yeah maybe they don't make a comment outwardly but maybe when dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis they feel this unspoken sort of feeling of it um, and this is the kind of thing I'm talking about where you think someone's thinking something but they're just not saying it to be like politically correct or whatever but I mean obviously I'm being influenced by my own religion I realize that I'm being influenced by my own feelings but you've got to you've got to trust your own feelings you know you can't live your life by the people so um basically if you didn't already know I am Jewish and 
Um, I might not be the best Jew in the world. Um, well, certainly not. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything to me. And um, I certainly believe in God. Um, and I'm quite a logical person, and I do know that a lot of you out there, um, especially maybe the Aspie people, a lot of Aspie people don't necessarily believe in God because they want some sort of proof for most ideologies. You know, uh, they want a reason or a tangible something tangible, and I can understand what out to them they're like. Well. Either we don't know, or um, there isn't one. Um, I don't really want to get into a debate about whether there is or isn't God right now. But what I'm trying to say is, I think that in a free country, people should be able to practice their own religion um, and not be told that they can't because the other people see from their point of view see it as wrong as long as it's not hurting others around them like or imposing their religion upon others around them um, because I don't believe that a religion any religion like um, I don't believe any religion tells people to hate each other I might be wrong but I always think of religion as um, trying to teach people to get along and to give charity and help the poor like and help the friends and not be jealous of other people and not spend your life just trying to get one up on people it's like share and uh, and pray and be thankful for your life and stuff like that I don't know I just, ah, I just think, and why have I got the camera right, right up in my face? I just, <laughs> I just think that um, people should mind their own business in a way, and that you can be English or whatever, or American or whatever, and like just because I'm Jewish doesn't mean I'm not English a lot of people don't realise that, that feel I mean I'm English, my parents are English their parents are English, it goes on like that we're not all just come off a boat and they look at it because of the foreign people that have come into this part of the country and a lot of parts of countries because of the past government or whatever then there's a lot of hatred there and I just feel like and because of 9-11 and I don't think it's right to hate all people or a whole religion, whichever it may be, because of the acts of few. I mean, I don't think that religions cause wars. I think people cause wars, and there's always going to be bad people. Ugh. I so think that I think this more clearly than the way I'm saying it and it may have helped for me to have written it down I mean even speaking to another person I think I could have said this more eloquently um, the camera really just puts me off but basically just want to tell you all to accept people as different but equal and let religious people should let people without religion have no religion and the people with no religion should let the people with religion have religion as long as it as they don't interfere you know your daily life should just be your daily life and your religion should mainly be done at home surely that's your own business um, and as long as you're not you know bombing people or stabbing people or you know, <laughs> um, trying to change everybody around you to be like you or make them dress like you or something then live and let live guys live and let live and on that note I shall end this terrible vlog blog blog bloggy vlog blog blog um I'm gonna quickly tell you I did do my model's own pro black uh, nail polish I prefer the other color this is a bit harsh black black I like dark but dark but not quite black 
Um, and I made a terrible job of it and my lights just got off. And I'm going to stop and get back to you about the other products that I tried and tell you if they're any good or not. And I'm going to remember to keep looking at the camera and not elsewhere. And goodbye. Why I say it like